Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome to U-Boat, a submarine crew management game that was recently launched into early access, and I've been playing a fair bit of it. I've already got six hours clocked into the game, and uh, I do expect me to play a lot more of it. It is a quite a bit of fun. I figured today I'd show y'all a little bit of gameplay of U-Boat. Uh, for those of you that are on the edge about it and uh, not sure if you want to buy it, um, maybe I can sway you one way or another. Now this game is no Silent Hunter game, uh, I'll go ahead and get that out of the way, but it does offer a fresh take on the uh, submarine game genre, and I think it's very welcome, and I've been enjoying it quite a bit. There are a few teething issues, as with any early access game, so because they launched it into early access, I am going to cut it some slack on, you know, uh, like clunkiness and bugs and such. Because that is the whole point of early access. Now, as you see, here is our U-boat, the U-96. It seems like every submarine game's uh, launch has the U-96 as the boat you're playing as. Now, for those of you that don't know, the U-96 is the boat in Das Boat. Uh, that, I think that's, that's why they do it. It's pretty iconic at this point. So, here's our submarine. And as you can see, uh, I've already played one patrol on live stream. And... Uh, from the uh, our rewards from that patrol we got a uh, renown or budget as you can uh, see here so we got quite a bit so I went ahead and upgraded our boat with a uh, Metox or the ba Biscay Cross as it was dubbed by the U-boat crews now this is a uh, radar warning receiver so we have that and hopefully that will uh, give us a little bit of edge against the uh, British escorts when we're attacking convoys and definitely British aircraft that have radar equipped one other thing we also have is a new hydrophone. I don't know if we can see it, but we have it here on the deck. And, ah, God, uh, it's this little uh, T-shaped thing up here, and it rotates, and it gives us a better arc for listening. I believe it's the KDB, KGB? I don't think it's KGB. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what it is. Yeah, well, we can go, we can go to the warehouse and see. So here's uh, the warehouse. This is where you upgrade your vessel. Let's see. KDB. Okay, gotcha. I knew it was K and B. I just forgot the the middle uh, letter. Anyway, enough of that. So let's go ahead. I've already outfitted our boat with food and provisions and fuel. So we just need to go over to our leading officer over here. Admiralty is deeply impressed by your last patrol. Solid work, Captain. Well, thank you. So uh, let's go ahead and... Are there any orders? Or the current orders. Let's see if we got anything juicy. Let's do something stupid. So, uh, we have three things to select. Patrol Sector DH, which is in the South Atlantic. Patrol BD, which is in the Mid-Atlantic. Uh, yeah, Mid-Atlantic, I believe. And then, or we can join La Spazia. Now, if you don't know, uh, and there's a reason this is high. And I'm kind of glad, I was just talking to somebody about this mission, so I'm kind of glad I got this one. This luck of the draw, I suppose. Uh, we are to join La Spazia. La Spazia is in uh, the Mediterranean, so we'll have to go through Gibraltar to get here. So travel to La Spazia and report to your new leading officer. Let's do that. Why not kill my crew? Alright, let's go ahead and get out of here. Uh, so as you can see, most of my crew is sleeping. I've sent this guy to sleep, but it looks like he's fully rested down here, so he's just hanging out on the bridge. Uh, graph up here. Kohler, Newman, West, and Loris are my other crew members. So with that out of the way, we can go ahead and head to the map and we can begin plotting a course here. I keep trying to use the arrow keys like I'm playing Silent Hunter. So we are to proceed to Las Basia and we have to get through Gibraltar. Oh, this is this is going to be be pretty tough. I already know it is. This game uh, it does a lot of things really well, and I believe one of the thing the real strong suit of this game I think is whenever you get like critically damaged and you're scrambling to try to save your boat and your crew. I really love just how like tense it gets uh, when you're being depth charged and such. It's uh, quite a bit of fun. All right, so we're gonna try to stick to the African coast here and uh, avoid hopefully getting uh, killed too badly. <laughs> I do not expect to make it out of here. And then we'll just make a mad dash 
to Las Vesia. Uh, definitely the difficult part here is going to be getting through Gibraltar past the rock. Uh, there is a RAF airfield right here, which uh, definitely will add to our pain and also the main port. Uh, this was the main repair port for most of the British fleet in the Mediterranean. Uh, it's a very strategic area <laughs> to uh, occupy, so... Oh, it's going to be a pain. So, I'm not sure why this is. Um, performance decreased. We're lacking healthy crew members to fully operate the boat. I, I, And it just went away. I don't know why that was there. Um, because all my crew members are getting rested up here. So, I'm not 100% sure. And I look down here. doesn't look like there's any indication that my crewmen are not healthy. But... Uh, I'm not sure. I'm still uh, trying to figure out uh, some things with the game. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and increase speed. We have diesel motor selected, so let's go forward to, and we will get past, break away from our tender here. Let's go ahead and walk around in first person on the bridge as we disembark, or depart, I'm sorry. There's the Biscay cross right there. Now it should have wiring, but I guess they didn't model that. Overall, the game is very pretty. I think this game has some of the best uh, ocean, like physics, like the waves. I ocean graphics, I suppose. The the waves and the wake and everything looks really good. I think this is the best we've ever seen in any sub sim. And we can go ahead and fly a little flag out here. And we'll see, when we get into some really choppy seas, it looks really good. Much better than any Silent Hunter game. And that includes five. We have a bunch of seagulls flying about. The port is very nicely detailed. There's not any other vessels about, though, which is kind of disappointing. I was kind of hoping there was. So let's go ahead and uh, open up the hatch and climb down below here. We can indeed climb throughout the entire boat. Here we have someone on the uh, rudder controls. Here's the conning tower. We have our attack periscope. So they say you can play the game. Climb down. There we go. You can play the game in the cutout view, which I was doing earlier, or you can completely play it in first person. However, I feel like you kind of gimp yourself if you play in first person. And here we have quite a few crewmen. You know, hanging about in the galley. It looks like we have some water on the floor. Uh, that might not be a good sign. It's almost trying to sleep. They're eating some very delicious looking soup. We go into the galley where we have our cook. Uh, our cook is kind of terrible. He keeps wasting rations all the time. If he does it again, I'm going to execute him. And here we have the diesel engines. And he is... Uh, just hanging about, watching them, making sure everything's running A-OK. -okay. And then our stern torpedo room and diesel, or electric motors here. So overall, the boat looks really good. Uh, very few complaints about uh, the actual graphics of the game. Oh, excuse me, sir. And we can go ahead and run forward. Some textures are a little iffy, but I'm sure that will all get ironed out as the game. I guess we just uh, hit a waypoint there. We have our listening room, and our, our radio room is right in here. There's little cubbies. But as I said, all those textures should get ironed out as the game proceeds through early access. And here we have the forward torpedo room, which is all very, very nice. So let's go ahead. Hello and get out of that view. I, I, So far, my preference is to play the game in this cutout view. I feel like it's much easier to uh, manage the situations uh, from this view, so we'll go ahead and do it like so. So let's go ahead and head on to the map. The map's pretty nifty too. Uh, so you zoom out and the map becomes like, you know, a 2D-ish looking map. And then you zoom in and you can actually see your boat and the waves. It's super cool. I really like this. And you have your sight and also whenever you submerge you have a hydrophone ring and such. So 
and see the range of your hydrophones. Well, with that out of the way, I guess we'll go ahead and proceed. I'll probably cut up this video just a little bit, kind of like how I do Silent Hunter videos as we travel through the Bay of Biscay. Um, this was <laughs> notorious for allied bombing missions against U-boats, so we'll keep on, we'll keep Graf on the uh, watchtower for that because I do not want to die in the Bay of Biscay. I'd rather die here by Gibraltar. So I think this is going to be a very exciting video. I'll stop rambling about um, pretty much nothing and we'll proceed onward and I'll get back to you guys whenever something crazy happens. We have two warships detected out here, apparently. So we're going to go ahead and submerge to periscope depth now. Uh, as, you know. Oh, and they are very close. Why are y'all just now spotting them? Okay, I guess because I actually didn't have an officer on. Well, no. Graf was up there. You watermelon. How did you not see them? They are deathly close, which is absolutely terrifying. So we're going to go ahead and submerge. Morale or discipline is what this called. I keep calling it morale for some reason. I feel like morale might be a better word for it. But anyway, morale is plummeting as two Corvettes close in on our position. They actually aren't closing. They're kind of... Oh, no, he's shooting at me. Of course he is. He's lobbing shells my direction. So this is already a wonderful start to our... Uh... Okay, why are we not... Are we going under? All right. Graf, you go ahead and go to the depth station. Of e -motor. Okay, let's go ahead and switch to electric. All ahead full. Schneller, schneller. And we'll go ahead and get Loris on the depth station. Alright. Of course. And as you can see, we are now safely under the water. We kept our flag on. And yikes, I don't know about this. Um, let's make a course change here. Wow, they're still lobbing shells at my per How can they still see my periscope? No way. Alright, all ahead slow. Yeah, they're still shooting at me, which is... Okay, interesting. I don't know how the hell they actually see me. Maybe we can actually set up a, a good shot here. Actually, hmm, these tour Corvettes. Actually, let's just keep running away. Uh, make my depth. Let's go down to about a hundred meters here. Graf, I don't. I really don't need you here. You just go to bed, pal. I don't need you on that attack periscope. Are you want to lower the periscope before you go away? Doesn't look like he's going to. All right, that's fine. All right. Uh, Newman, I'll get you on the hydrophones. Actually, Graf, you can go ahead and turn this off. Turn off the gyro compass because that is emitting noise, and uh, well, that will definitely cause some issues for us as these Corvettes close in. All right, what is our? We're still going slow. All right, now, as you can see, we have our hydrophone range and it is rapidly increasing. Uh, I'm gonna assign two more crewmen to help Newman out here on the hydrophones. I don't think I'm gonna t try to retaliate against these guys either. And let's go ahead and graph, go ahead and rig for blue here. And that, everything seems to be set up A-OK. -okay. And yeah, we are fairly <laughs> deep here. As you can see, it's very dark. I doubt y'all are going to be able to see this very well. I might have to brighten up this video a little bit in post, but... So one, uh, one thing I would like is the ability to just have your crewmen shut all the bulkheads and hatches. Uh, that would be very nice if they would just automatically do that like you click a button and then they all scramble and close all of them Because as it stands now you have to send one dude <laughs> To kind of run around and close them all But I want them all sealed off when we're getting depth charged 
Well, you know. Here, come this way. Now close it. Because um, if one compartment fills with water, I don't want that spilling over into my other compartments. So we'll just have Echoing. a new one here, close this hatch. And close this hatch. All right, now get back onto the, the radio. There you go. All right, Graf. Close your hatch. Close your hatch. All right, where are you going? Why did you open? See, it's things like this that just frustrate me a little bit. Uh, all right. Okay, so anyway. Enough of that, these shores are closing in. We'll go ahead and use some time compression here as they do close towards us. Let's change course just a smidge. Yikes, this is already not good. Let's go ahead and go a little deeper. 130 meters, please. Yikes. Hopefully these guys don't kill me. I don't know what two Corvettes are doing this close uh, to, you know, French occupied ports here. It's a little, a little too close. But the the ship models look really good, as you can see. This Corvette is very nicely detailed. I do really like the way the AI ships look. All right, oxygen is depleting. Battery obviously is depleting. Discipline is falling, but we still have a while for that. I think discipline enough falls a little too quickly, however. Alright. We'll try to evade these guys nice and... Steering engines, electric engines. I don't know how to... Turn off. Uh oh. Apparently we're pretty uh, detectable here, which I don't really understand why we're heading dead slow here. But anyway, looks like they're kind of just sailing right past us. Maybe they have no idea where we are. Oh no, they're they're turning towards us. Of course they are. Maybe they'll just sail in circles. Yep, looks like they're uh, fishing in the wrong spot. I don't think they really have a good beat on us, so we'll keep this current course here and try to run away as quickly as possible at our uh, nice and brisk probably two knots, I suppose. I don't know how exactly. That's the wind speed. Yeah, I'm not sure how fast we're actually going, but yeah, they don't really know where we are, so we're going to be able to escape this, I think. And we'll proceed onward towards Gibraltar. It looks like I have to replot my whole course again as well. But I'll do that off camera. Yeah, we are A-OK -okay here. Phew, discipline is still falling very rapidly. Uh, I guess the best way to do this is to send someone to the cook station. But he doesn't seem to want to do it. Oh well. We'll surface soon and hopefully uh, discipline stays okay. Alright, well with that I'll go ahead and cut here as we escape. And I'll get back to you guys as we close in to Gibraltar. So, it seems we have successfully evaded the two British Corvettes that were hunting us. Uh, weather has... Uh, gotten slightly worse as you can see it's quite a little choppy out and the water is this nice dark green and we're going to go ahead and surface the boat discipline is on the rise because our cook has made some fairy dishes in here uh, let's open up the galley hopefully we have oh no i'm actually i'm hoping we have enough uh, food in here but i guess he's making food now since we are off of silent running so, we'll go ahead and surface the boat. Surface. And we'll go ahead and blow the tanks and uh, 
hit the surface here. Hopefully those Corvettes aren't waiting for us, but... And our flag still flies. So we can go ahead and uh, switch the diesel engines here momentarily. Probably be better to go Dex Wash first and then completely surface. That was actually a real U-boat surfacing procedure. And why are our engines not moving? So let's go ahead and switch the diesels and standard speed. I don't know why we are not moving. Let's go ahead and send a contact report about those uh, Corvettes. There we go. It looks like our screws are starting to spin now. And let's go ahead and let's go ahead and all ahead full and try to just get the heck out of here. I uh, put as much distance between us and those Corvettes as quickly as possible while we can. And I just think the wake looks really good in this game. Wow, I just the environment of this game I think is beautiful. I I cannot give enough praise to that. It looks really good in my opinion. Alright, let's go ahead and check up on all the crew. So Newman. Uh I'm gonna send Yeah. You can actually go ahead and go to bed now. And we'll those two other sailors that were helping you out, they don't need to be helping you out anymore. Uh Graf, you can go ahead and sleep. Kohler. I'm going to assign you right now to the targeting site, get you on the bridge with one other crewman, uh, just in this time where those Corvettes are relatively close, close enough to where I do not want to, uh, I want to yeah, die. Well, so here, you want to switch the lights to, uh, white light, please, before you, before you go up. <laughs> and uh, I'm making him climb all the way down, I guess. Oh well, he can figure it out. What's what's this fella doing? Where are you going, Kohler? I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, what? I wish you could just tell one of these sailors to flick the switch here, but he'll go and eventually make his way up there. Uh, the bilge is a-okay at the moment. Diesels are running smoothly. Looks like everyone is all right. So I'll go ahead and send. Now, I need him working on the actual diesel engines now. Uh, why'd you stop? Uh, I don't know what I actually just did there. Do we need to make repairs? Now we're all stopped. Uh, that's not good. Okay, there we go. They're roaring back to life. Oh, that's neat that they start off slow and then slowly warm up. That's pretty cool. I really, I actually really like that. Okay, so everything's okay now. And we are now rigged for white. And, okay, Kohler, I don't want you sleeping. Get on the bridge now. Perfect. All right, so everything's set up and ready to go for our travel. Uh, we're heading directly away from those to shore. Southwest, I think, will be a good course here. And then we'll get back to Gibraltar. So, I'll get back to you guys soon. The sun is setting and it's starting to rain. It actually just started to rain as I pressed the record button. It's like we're sailing right into a squall here. Uh, these are ideal conditions to infiltrate... Uh, okay, that was a little interesting. To infiltrate Gibraltar. As you can see, it looks like we have a group of contacts somewhere. Uh, but to infiltrate Gibraltar, we are closing in, so I'll go ahead and head forward three. Now, the goal here is to cover as much distance as we can on the surface, and then submerge once, uh, well, shit hits the fan. And, uh, we're forced to by Tommy Destroyers. Go ahead and use some fast travel here oh my god there's a plane this is my first aircraft but it is flying away it's probably trying to get back home in these in this weather uh, I would not want to be flying in these kinds of conditions now morale is dropping because the alarms going off but I don't think 
I don't think we're in serious trouble here. It looks like... I don't know if we... Actually, let me see the plane. I want to see the airplane. Let's take it. Uh, here we go. Oh, okay, nifty. Ah, oh, I forgot exactly what this pl aircraft is called. But they are fairly common. As you can see, it is equipped with uh, radar here. Uh, that's what these little uh, spikes are on the side of the aircraft. So hopefully he can't pick us up in this kind of weather. Well, I guess we'll soon find out though. But it looks like, yeah, he's definitely trying to get back home. Because these, this is a uh, pretty bad weather to be flying in, I would think. All right, so we'll proceed onward, all ahead full. And let's go ahead and get my crew all set up for the upcoming fight. So, copy uh, it. There we go. Sometimes I've noticed your uh, crewmen down here kind of disappear, and it's a little annoying. So, Newman, you go ahead and get in the radio room now. Kohler, I'm going to have you at the navigator station just so we don't lose uh, uh, our position. Because you can lose your position if you don't have someone on the na navigating table periodically. And it is very annoying. All right, Loris, you can stay asleep since he is the most tired out of everybody. I've been working him like a dog, so I'll let him have some rest as we close in to the rock. Looks like everything else is A-OK. -okay. Discipline is on, it's not going so well. So let's go ahead and interrupt his sleep. Let's turn on the red lights. Let's see if that helps. So now we just have the alarm. Loris, I don't want you in the stern torpedo room. If anything, I want you up here. Alright. So that plane is still flying out. I don't know how we know it's out here. But, uh, let's go ahead and send a report about the aircraft. Very dishes. Okay, that's definitely helping out. Now what you can also do is play music uh, to increase your crew's morale. However, um, I don't want the the uh, video to get copyright claimed. I'm not sure if all of the music is copyright free. I kind of assume it is, but uh, you can never be too careful with YouTube. So we will... So that is just the hit I'm going to have to take. We are burning fuel like crazy as we close in here too. Alright, let's go ahead and use fast travel now. As you can see, Loris in here is warming up all the torpedoes. I'll let him do that, and then I'll put him back to bed. Alright. Loris, go ahead and go get some sleep, pal. Looks like everyone else is still pretty tired, too. Um, okay, let's hit... Everyone go ahead and hit the hay. I was hoping we'd make it here. It's not even midnight yet, so we still have quite a bit of time. Uh, Graf, go ahead and go to bed, too. Just for a little bit. Try to get some rest. Because this can, the situation is probably going to develop rather quickly here. I'm a little worried. Let's go ahead and take a drink. <laughs> the weather will definitely help us though. This might be a lot easier than, uh, than I was thinking it would be, but uh, Mother Nature has kind of helped us in this scenario. All right. Okay, warship detected. All right, let's kind of head away from this Corvette. Looks like it's another Corvette. That's all we ever see is Corvettes. Is it just standing here? Okay, interesting. All right, let's just head away from it at the moment. The alarm has people a little concerned. So actually, God, I wish I could just play the music and that would help my crew out, but I am playing... I can't do that. It's very annoying. All right, let's go ahead and send this report. Some time compression here. Looks like he's sailing very slowly. Now I could pop a torpedo right into the side of this little guy, but I'm not going to do that because that would definitely give away our position. 
a Corvette getting torpedoed uh, would definitely give away a submarine's presence. So we're just going to sail around him here. Kohler, go ahead and get some vet sleep right now. All right, let's go ahead and manage our crew just a bit. Let's go ahead and get Graf on the navigator station now. He's fully rested. Everyone's fully rested. Yeah, Newman, go to bed. All right. Let's let them sleep west. Go ahead and get on the diesels now. Actually, no, no. Let's get Loris on the diesels. Wes, I want you in the torpedo room. There we go. Alright. Okay. So it looks like we successfully, uh, evaded him. He didn't spot us or pick us up on radar, which is definitely good. We're making a nice 16 knots here. Okay, we got a new... Oh, that's not good. Oh, hell no. Okay. Uh, let's get two crew members in the diesel room now, and let's really just start hauling ass. Let's turn away. Oh boy, this is not good. I knew this would uh, hit the fan eventually. All right, more time compression. Hopefully we can just skim right past them in this weather without them picking us up. And it looks like we can. So let's go ahead and turn. Perfect. This is like a stealth mission. All right, and we'll skim past the uh, African coast here. Now the only problem with this plan is if they do pick us up, we are in very shallow waters. Um, see, let's use our echo sounder. Let's see. Let's go deep first. Three meter. What the hell? Um. I'm not sure. I'm saying there's only seven. Oh my god, there really is. Okay, wow, so we can't even submerge here. That's good to know. I'm glad I checked that because I would have tried to go down the periscope. So we're just going to have to outrun them if they do pick us up. Wow, yeah, I guess we are pretty close to the coast here. Probably too close. Making 20 knots, hot damn. This boat can really, <laughs> really pick up speed here. All right, so we made it past. It looks like this is the narrowest part of the channel too, and we have smoke on the horizon. Uh, I do not like that. Let's try to make for a little deeper water here. Chimney smoke, gosh, that is very close. What time is it? Okay, it's almost midnight, so we still have quite a bit of darkness to play with, which is very nice. Thank you, game. Now, what I could do... Well, this has been uh, fairly easy so far. I'm thinking maybe we can just go to Gibraltar. You want? Should I sneak into Gibraltar? Just on our way out? That could be pretty entertaining I think and that's what I'm here to do is to entertain so Graf you go to bed now so can you Loris I appreciate all of y'all's hard work but y'all need to rest a little bit now Wes is taking over the diesel engines which is good New contacts, warships. Oh boy, oh boy, pause, pause, pause. That is extremely bloody close. Okay, change course. Uh, you better get two people in there and squeeze out all the juice we can, all head full or flank. Yikes, that is so bloody close. Get ready to crash dive, boys. I don't see this. I don't see this going our way here. 
Just another Corvette. Golly, there is a lot of Corvettes out here. Okay, wow. We are able to uh, get out of harm's way there fairly easily. I'm gonna sneak into Gibraltar. Screw it, why not? Oh, boy, okay. You know, I say that, and then there's another destroyer. All right, we'll keep turning away from them. Hopefully none of them start just opening fire. Perfect. <laughs> this is bananas. All right, Kohler, I'm gonna get you up here on the bridge because this is a little too close for comfort. And let's get one crewman up there, one sailor. Okay. It's only a matter of time before it. God, another one? Okay. Oh, two of them. That has opened up our sight quite a lot. I don't know how long we're going to be able to sneak past these fellas. Are they all Corvettes? Yeah, I think they all are. Holy cow! <laughs> okay, this is getting a little more difficult. I think we're going to have to submerge here. Because uh, we have one, two, three, probably four and five Corvettes. They're kind of bracketing us at this point. Uh, yeah, let's try to skim past them here. Oh, boy. Okay, now we have a big boy destroyer. That's not good. Alright. Alright, Newman. It's time to get on the radio. You play some, play us some soothing music. If I get copyright claimed, uh... Uh, something I'm gonna have to deal with. Too much work from officers. Oh, you little babies. Sorry, we're. I'm trying to keep y'all alive. You have to work a little bit for it. Work for your lives. Oh, I guess I can't play the music when there's an alarm. I guess that makes a lot of uh, some sense. I feel like I should be able to play music. If I want to kill m me and my crew, I should be able to do it in any way I want. So we're going to try to skim past them right here. <laughs> oh boy. Actually, this is my first time seeing a real destroyer here. Let's take a look at them. Looks like a... I'm not sure what kind of class of destroyer this is. But wow, it looks... Pretty scary. I was gonna say tribal, but it's not a tribal. I'm not very good at uh, identifying destroyers. I, I generally try to steer clear from them. So I'm thinking now's the perfect time to go Dexawash. Surrounded by destroyers, I think now is a good time. like the weather is calming down just a smidge here too. God, if we get spotted, this is, we're screwed. Let's take a look here. Ah, oh, screw it. Oh, and they put little—they put rain gear on. I really like that. That's awesome. I didn't notice that before. Okay, decks a wash. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! That's not good. Uh, let's get out of this. Okay, just surface the boat. Surface the boat. I don't want. I don't want water flooding through the hatch. Why are we sinking? You goofballs. Let's go ahead and send a report, I guess. Okay, well, that didn't work. To plan. Oh my god, what was that? That scared the bejesus out of him. Compressed air is low. We're using our compressed air? I guess to surface the boat. Uh, this is not good. 
Looks like a wa lot of water came in. Turn on the pump. I think they know we're here now. Because that's not my bell ringing. God damn it. Flank. I think they saw us. Enemy destroyer at 12 o'clock. Okay, there's a destroyer. God damn it, this is not good. Yep, they're shooting at us. Yep, the shore is closing in. Let's try to make it for deeper water here. Um, 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 uh, uh, Kohler. How deep is it? <laughs> please tell me. Just please tell me we have like 100 meters. Not our measly seven. Get ready to crash dive as well. Get that button ready to go here. Alright. Compressed air is at 76%. Why are we slowing down? Okay, crash dive, crash dive. Get under. Get under. I didn't see how deep it was. Check it again. Come on. 145 meters, perfect. Let's go down to 128. Quickly, quickly. Quit your lollygagging, let's really get under here. Sailors in critical state, where are you, pal? Oh, so Stefan Meyer, I'm sorry, pal. You're done for, though. Um, Are we under? Perfect, we're under. All right. Turn that off. The compressor that's going off in here? Fucking turn that off. Please. Felix. Okay, it looks like Leo's running to turn off the compressor. All ahead slow. All right, Newman. You're near the storage room. Where are my med packs? God, look at all those warships coming for us. Uh, here, you take those med kits now. Yes. You try to help Stefan over there. That's. Did you turn off that compressor? Okay, compressor's off. Kohler. Switch to blue light. Adams Newman's already in the hydrophone area. Stefan is not doing so well. All those destroyers are already above us. Hear their screws churning above our heads. Yep, that's a destroyer coming for us. That's nice. Alright. Time to kind of graph. What are you doing here, pal? Alright, man. What do I want? What do I need you to do? Too much work from officers. Kohler, you help. Ship propellers directly over us. Depth charges, all ahead full. Left full rudder. Hopefully, we can uh, do a little juking here. We're still going deeper. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, which one of you lollygag? Adam. Okay, you have this. You help him out real fast. I'm not too worried about the hydrophones. I mean, we, they're everywhere. <laughs> uh, we can hear them with our, our ears here. Graph. Where do I want you? I'm not sure where the best place for him would be. We'll just have him 
Okay, depth charges are exploding near us. Don't know if they're close at all. Okay, actually, turn off the gyro compass first. You can go ahead and turn off power, and everyone can get out of the conning tower. Felix, let's close that bulkhead. Newman, close that hatch. Close that. Yeah, Kloss, you hang out in the torpedo room. Just close the bulkhead, please. Newman, can you Copy team. close that hatch as well? There we go. Perfect. For the most part, we are completely sealed off. Where's Kohler? He just want to graph. Yeah, you're fine. Kohler's above us. Death charges. Change course. Performance decreased. Okay. That's fine, that's fine. Alright, let's slow it down here. We have, currently have four destroyers circling above us. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I don't know why this bulkhead's open. No. I hate this sometimes. The controls are still a little clunky and it's taking me a while to get used to, but. Alright, more depth charge explosions. Fairly close to us. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Wow, that is really cool looking, though. This is my first time getting seriously depth charged, and that is that is beautiful. I suppose once they get a little bit closer, I'm not going to be too happy about it. They really need a button where your crewmen just, when they go through a hatch, they close the hatch, etc. See, what are these idiots doing? They're warming up the torpedoes. I don't think I'm gonna have a chance to get a shot off. Maybe I could, I could try. I could definitely try. Change course this way. Yeah, look at these guys just circling me like hound circle a steak. I'm screwed. <laughs> I kind of know it. Apparently there's an airplane around. Is he going to roll depth charges? Let's take a look. I'm not sure if he's going to. Does this fellow even have depth charges? Oh yeah. Looks like ASK launchers. Okay, well, that'll be a pleasant surprise. And that guy's using a searchlight. That's neat. God, that's a lot of destroyers. I am very worried. <laughs> uh, we got pretty far, though. Uh, actually, really far. A lot farther than I kind of was expecting. Even though there are, what, four destroyers circling, circling us, and I have four more incoming. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Let's go ahead and just use some time compression here. Looks like this guy's sniffing kind of... Oh. I said that, and then he goes in for an attack run. Alright, he's coming in. All head full. See if he's going to launch depth charges right on us. 
Looks like he didn't. I didn't see him throw any. I didn't hear depth charges in the water either, so let's go ahead and slow down here. When we get hit, we'll we'll really know it. So an F class is sure interesting. This guy really has a good beat on us, though. These Corvettes are slowly coming our way. It doesn't look like they're uh, too eager to come this way. Too much work from officers. 20 minutes is all I got for discipline. Uh, okay, so I need to stop working my crewmen like dogs. That F class destroyer has really got a beat on us, though. They're not pinging me or anything like that. I don't know if you can actually hear the uh, British destroyers using ASIC. It looks like he's going back to his friends. Yeah, he's sailing away. This might be it. Our chance to escape. <laughs> we'll see, though. I could always uh, try to get a torpedo solution here. I think actually sneaking into Gibraltar itself would be a terrible, terrible idea. Uh, I'm not opposed to trying a attack though. Let, yeah, let's try it. Let's go to periscope depth. Because why not? I suppose. Okay, why are you asleep? You better get back on those hydrophones, boy. I'll execute you. You can actually execute your crew members in this game, which is fairly interesting. Discipline's already at 27%. Golly. I, there's no way I can increase that at this point. Um, get, get on the bloody hydrophones. What's wrong with you? You just have enough? Oh, so we are getting pinged. Oh, I don't know why he won't get on the hydrophones. I don't care about... Are our hydrophones damaged or something? I don't know why he won't get on the hydrophones, but now we're blind, really, so, because he doesn't want to work. Okay, well, this is fun. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and use some time compression. Looks like this Corvette's... Yeah. Alright, coming back up to periscope depth. Perfect. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn on the lights and everything in the conning tower. Graf, you get on the attack periscope, please. I want yeah, two well, crewmen sitting up there. Let's go ahead and try to sink one of these buggers. Detection. So let's go ahead and try to... Oh no, he's shooting either at us or he's shooting star shells. But I have a feeling he's just shooting at us. Yeah, I, I haven't really messed with the whole... manual targeting thing, so we're just gonna do it this way. Although I think it might be time to... Uh... Oh, there's a little hide periscope button. That's actually pretty nifty. 
Let's go ahead and send this report, I suppose. Twenty-five percent. Twenty-nine. Change course. I think he is trying to shoot at us. I don't know how the hell he sees our periscope, but forty-two percent. All right, our solution is at, currently at 48%. The way torpedo attacks work in this game is it's kind of like cold waters where you have a meter that slowly builds up as you uh, observe the target. And yeah, he is definitely shooting at us. I'm not a fan. All right, 53, 54, clock it. Uh, tube five, go ahead and flood. Flood tube five, prayer to fire. All ahead full. Two five. Oh shoot! I meant the. God damn it! Oh yeah, I sure hell is shooting at us. Uh, fire two five. Why not? All right, let's go ahead and dive. I don't see our torpedo anywhere. It's way too dark. There's no way that's gonna hit. Oh, he's dropping depth charges over there. It seems. He does have a fire on board though. I don't know why that is. Low discipline. Discipline has gone through the floor. <laughs> uh, not very good. All right. So that was probably probably a whiff, unless I actually hit him. But I I don't believe I did. I didn't get any torpedo impact message or anything like that. All right, it's coming right for me now. This is no good. Hey, Newman, will you finally get on the gosh darn hydrophones? I guess he really doesn't want to. See, and oh God, oh God. Okay, I thought I saw a depth charge coming right down on me. All right, so anyway, I see my crew are gone now. And I don't know how to get them back. There we go. All right. Captain. He still won't get on the on the hydrophones. That's really frustrating that he won't. No one else will either. So that's irritating. All right, let's get, make my depth 100 meters. After we whiffed that attack. So I think we'll actually, yeah, this little Corvette's got a pretty good beat on us. I think he's just shooting star shells or something. I don't know why he's shooting it all the time. I'm not sure what exactly he's doing. Maybe his crew's just a little trigger happy? I don't know. Because it looks like he's trying to shoot us. I'm not sure. That's weird. But anyway, he is on fire. I don't know how that happened. Oh, God. So, all right. So our discipline went down and one of our crewmen broke. David Peters over here. So we're gonna get Kohler to go and talk to him. So we can either knock him out or calm him down. We'll try to calm him out first, calm him down first. And if he doesn't do that, then we're gonna end up uh, punching him in the face. We don't have that on my boat. I don't know if we're gonna be able to so far, we've been A-OK -okay in evading this here onslaught of Tommy Destroyers. It looks like just one Corvette's really, really committed to sinking us, though. David Peters is crying. Come on, man. As you can see, the meter slowly is talking to him. You alright, buddy? Is he gonna...
There we go. All right, so he calmed down. Good job, pal. Discipline is still dropping, though. Which is not good. I wish this bastard would get on my bloody hydrophone. This, this is really making me go to bed. I'm done with you. I'm tired of him. He is definitely getting uh, a court martial <laughs> once we make it to Las I guess I should rephrase that too if we make it to Las Pazia. Pressed air is at 90%. It's not too bad. Bill just everything's okay. The only problem is this performance decrease, and I'm not sure why that is still. I don't know what this guy's shooting at. Did he just disappear? No, he's still there. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong. I don't even think he has a depth charge rack. Did he blow it off? Is this a good old case of uh, Silent Hunter 3? Well, his depth charges are on fire. That can't be very good. Oh, I guess he's shooting flares. Oh, okay. That's pretty neat, I suppose. I don't know what the purpose of that really is, but uh, he can do that to his little heart's content, I guess. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna rob him of that uh, little pleasure. I could try it. I could try to come up. Here, I'll stop. I don't think he, he's not dropping dev charges. So I think, let's go, let's try this again. Periscope depth. Now that I know he's not actually shooting at me, that makes me feel a little more comfortable doing this. All right, let's check out my crew, man. Loris is preheating torpedoes, so that's okay. Newman, well, you, he still won't get in the listening room. I really don't understand why that is. Did my hydrophone get blown off or something? I don't, I'm really not sure. Anyway, Kohler, I'm gonna have you get on. Go ahead and just come up into the conning tower for the time being. Graf, I want you on the depth keeping. No. West, go ahead and come here. Get on the depth keeping. Oh, I guess if we switch to let's switch to manual steering. So, I believe that will help us in silent running. But we are coming up rather quickly here, passing 50 meters now. Oh, he's on the hydrophones again. Thank goodness he's doing that now. Oh, we can totally pop a torpedo into the side of this Corvette. Alright. Kohler, get ready. Okay, I guess... Okay, get up there. Get up there now. Two crewmen are helping him out. Perfect. Alright. Already at 7%. Doing good. Rudder. Rudder. Right full rudder, please. Sixteen percent. Yeah, it's still just shooting flares everywhere. I don't. That's fine. He can do whatever he wants. So we'll have a uh, Newman calculate a torpedo course over here. Wow! Look at all these guys. Yikes! More propeller noises. Let's check up on Graf. 38%. Okay. 40. Wow. Climbing quickly. Actually, let's have Newman also work on this. Hopefully we can get a... A solution fairly rapidly. Already at... Wow. 50. Perfect. Prepare our torpedoes. So let's go ahead and... Speed, it looks like we can't choose G7As, both of them. Hmm. 
So this is going to be a tough shot to pull off with this angle here until it comes back around. So, Newman, you can work on calculating a course on this fellow. 77% though. That's not bad. And it's still climbing. I don't know how this game handles uh, bad torpedo angles or, and such. I mean, I suppose our torpedo could swing around and get them. It's at 80%. Yeah, and this one here is at 42 already. So we're getting a pretty good solution here. I'm more confident in like a down a throat shot of this Corvette here now. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, yeah, 84. We'll keep him working on this one because if he can pull some magic <laughs> and hit this guy. If only I had my stern torpedo and I didn't use it already. Unfortunately, you don't get a stern torpedo reserve in this game, which is, uh, I don't know why not. You definitely should get one. All right, 87% on him. Let's check this guy. 59 All right, and he is closing, and he is actually probably going to depth charge us, so let's get both of them working on him. Uh, let's get two sailors to help out Newman on the hydrophones here. And they will work together. I don't know how to do the manual targeting in the game yet. I haven't really looked into it, uh, but I figured this would be... This is the way the tutorial kind of teaches you, I think. I didn't really learn all of the tutorial either. So we have a G7E and G7A. We'll shoot G7As at him, mostly because of uh, Flood Tube 3. I can't change the torpedo speed either. Uh, but mostly because of how dark it is and uh, the G7As are a little quicker. Uh, this would be perfect if I had my stern torpedo too. Too bad I've already used it. What a shame. All right. Tube three, get ready. 90%. I don't know if we're gonna get a much better shot than this. Oh, 90%. Tube three, ready. 91. Two. Once it's at 95, I'll fire. Ah, uh, I don't know. Flood tube two. Come on, 95. You're all I ever wanted. Fire tube three. Or tube two, four, whatever. Ah, God, bloody hell. Flood tube three again. <laughs> all right. Torpedo should be running. Torpedo was a dub. Fire to fire tube three. God damn it. Torpedo was a dud apparently. Okay. Oh, this is not good. Fire. Forty seconds to impact. Okay, you can see it here. Another dud. It's too close. Oh well. Turn away. Hopefully he won't. Uh... Oh, are they gonna ram each other? Beautiful. <laughs> my hope, my intention the whole time. Oh, perfect. Uh, I guess that doesn't really hurt them. That's unfortunate. If they hit each other, that should totally damage them. All right, let's start moving. That's unfortunate that, the, that those torpedoes were duds. All right, well, let's go ahead and I guess we can go back under. I'm not surprised, that was very, very close. And that angle was pretty bad. It was like, what, a 35 degree angle? Something like that. So let's go ahead and just go back down under, I suppose. 
All right, and let's just try to really escape. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut here since uh, they're all coming back. Uh, I'll cut here for a little bit and get back to you guys once I hopefully escape or I get damaged. I, if I get damaged, like I said earlier, that's really where the bulk of the game is. So if I get damaged, I think that'd be a lot of fun. So anyway, I'll see you guys in a bit. Just got a hit and I do have a leak in the hole. Let's go ahead and stop here at 90 meters. As you can see, the boat is filling up with water as we have this leak in our ventilation system. God, that's a lot of water, and we, as you can see, we are fucking plummeting. Oh boy. Oh no. Alright, let's go ahead and surface. Wow, one leak. Um, um, uh, Loris. Close the hatch. You goofballs need to close the hatches. And our bulkheads are ripping as we die. Gosh darn it. This is such a bad way to go. Loris, close, just close the hatch. Or repair it. This is why I wish you could automatically close the hatches. And as you see, we are plummeting past 200 meters. This is it for the U96. Unfortunately, <laughs> I, I am not going to be able to survive here. We just took on so much water so quickly. Blew a hole right in our side. I, we made it pretty far though. We made it past Gibraltar. It's just this one pesky destroyer. Also, my hydrophone That's operator it. would not get onto my hydrophones, and I have no idea as to why that was. William Wolf here is uh, crippled. Yikes, we are going fairly deep, and everything in the stern compartment is just ripping apart. I don't even know what our depth is at. The water is up to our shirts now, our waist. Oh, this is bad news bears. Yeah, there's no way I can stop this. Is the hatch closed there? Yeah, close the hatch, pal. No, no, don't open it. Don't open the hatch, you moron. No, 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 no. Don't open that hatch. Everyone... Did he open the hatch? Is the hatch open? I'm not sure. Uh, at this point, yeah, we're done for. We're just watching our boat. Yeah. U96 hole has been crushed by pressure. No survivors. That is such a lame way to go. I wasn't... Oh. Well, that is U-boat. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Um, yeah, I just got hit by one depth charge, I guess. That was kind of crazy. It happened out of the blue. I think of my... I don't know if that was a bug inc I encountered with my hydrophone operator or what, but that was actually really irritating that he would not go to the hydrophone station. Anyway, uh, thank you all for watching. I'm sorry this was a not as action-packed video as probably some of the others out there, but we successfully got through Gibraltar itself. Uh, unfortunately... Uh, just too much water came on board our boat way too quickly, and I was not able to cope with that. Uh, I'm still getting used to the controls and everything, so I'm not very efficient when it comes to repairing damages and such. So, anyway, thank you all for watching. If you want to see more Wolfpack, go ahead and let me know. Uh, I'm debating making this a series on the channel, so we'll see about that. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that now or if I want to wait till the game's out of early access. But, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.